Imagine a hollow object, like a furnace, heated up. As the temperature rises, something fascinating happens. It starts to glow, emitting light. This light isn't just a single color, it spans a spectrum. This light is spread across a range of colors, like a rainbow. Each color represents a different wavelength of light. Scientists in the late 19th century were trying to understand and predict this spectrum of colors known as black body radiation. They were intrigued by how objects emitted light when heated. Classical physics, the physics of Newton and Maxwell, had been wildly successful in explaining so many phenomena. Their theories had provided a solid foundation for understanding the natural world. But when applied to black body radiation, it predicted something absurd that the intensity of the emitted light should increase infinitely at high frequencies, a result known as the ultraviolet catastrophe. This prediction was not just a minor error, it was a fundamental flaw. This clearly wasn't happening in reality. The actual observations showed that the intensity of light peaked at a certain frequency and then decreased. Something was amiss. The classical theories couldn't explain why the intensity didn't keep rising. This discrepancy puzzled the greatest minds of the time and hinted at the need for a new understanding of the physical world. It was Max Planck who eventually proposed a solution. He suggested that energy is quantized, meaning it could only be emitted or absorbed in discrete amounts or quanta. This revolutionary idea laid the groundwork for quantum mechanics, a new branch of physics that would transform our understanding of the universe. Planck's theory successfully explained the observed spectrum of blackbody radiation and resolved the ultraviolet catastrophe. It marked the beginning of a new era in physics, one that would lead to groundbreaking discoveries and technologies. The puzzle of blackbody radiation was a turning point, showing that even well-established theories could be challenged and improved. It reminds us that science is a continuous journey of discovery, always pushing the boundaries of what we know. The ultraviolet catastrophe was a major problem for physicists. It showed that classical physics, for all its successes, was fundamentally flawed in its description of light and matter. The assumption was that energy was continuous, meaning it could take on any value. This assumption, deeply embedded in classical physics, was the culprit. Imagine trying to fill a bathtub with an infinitely fine mist. You would expect the water level to rise smoothly and continuously. This is how classical physics envisioned energy, but the reality of blackbody radiation suggested something very different. Enter Max Planck, a German physicist. Planck was drawn to the problem of blackbody radiation. He initially tried to solve it using the tools of classical physics, but like others before him, he hit a wall. The ultraviolet catastrophe persisted. Planck realized a radical departure was needed. He turned to a different branch of physics, statistical mechanics, which deals with the average behavior of large collections of particles. This shift in perspective would prove revolutionary. Statistical mechanics, pioneered by physicists like Ludwig Boltzmann, offered a new way to think about heat and energy. Instead of treating energy as a continuous fluid, it imagined energy being distributed among a large number of particles. Think of a crowded room. Instead of tracking the precise movements of each individual, we can talk about the average energy level of the crowd. This statistical approach, while less precise in some ways, proved incredibly powerful in understanding the behavior of systems with many particles. Planck applying statistical mechanics to black body radiation, made a bold assumption. He proposed that the energy of the electromagnetic waves emitted by the black body was not continuous, but rather came in discrete packets or quanta. Imagine filling the bathtub again, but this time you can only add water one bucket at a time. The water level no longer rises continuously, but jumps up in discrete steps. This is how Planck envisioned energy quantized. This assumption of quantized energy was radical. It contradicted everything classical physics held dear, but it worked. When Planck incorporated this idea into his calculations, the ultraviolet catastrophe vanished. His formula perfectly predicted the observed blackbody radiation spectrum. Planck introduced a fundamental constant, now known as Planck's constant, denoted by the letter, to relate the energy of a quantum of light to its frequency. 
This simple equation marked the birth of quantum physics. Planck's idea of quantized energy was met with skepticism even from Planck himself. It seemed too strange, too radical a departure from the established laws of physics. Many believed it was merely a mathematical trick devoid of physical reality. However, the success of Planck's formula in explaining black body radiation was undeniable. The seeds of a revolution had been sown. The very foundations of physics were about to be shaken. In 1905, a young Albert Einstein recognized the profound implications of Planck's work. This was a pivotal year in the history of physics, often referred to as Einstein's Annus Mirabilis, or Miracle Year. During this time, Einstein published four groundbreaking papers that would forever change our understanding of the universe. One of these papers focused on the photoelectric effect. He used the idea of quantized energy introduced by Max Planck to explain this puzzling phenomenon. Planck had proposed that energy is quantized, meaning it comes in discrete packets called quanta. The photoelectric effect is the emission of electrons from a metal when light shines on it. This was a well-known phenomenon, but classical physics couldn't explain why this effect depended on the frequency of the light, not just its intensity. According to classical wave theory, the energy of light should depend on its intensity, not its frequency. Classical physics couldn't explain why this effect depended on the frequency of the light, not just its intensity. This was a major puzzle for physicists at the time. They observed that no electrons were emitted if the light's frequency was below a certain threshold, regardless of its intensity. Einstein showed that light itself was quantized, composed of particles of energy called photons. He proposed that each photon carries a specific amount of energy which is proportional to the light's frequency. This was a revolutionary idea that challenged the classical wave theory of light, each carrying an energy given by Planck's equation E equals H times nu, where E is the energy of the photon, H is Planck's constant, and nu is the frequency of the light. This equation provided a clear and simple explanation for the photoelectric effect. Einstein's explanation of the photoelectric effect was a key piece of evidence for the quantum theory of light. It showed that light has both wave-like and particle-like properties, a concept that is fundamental to quantum mechanics. This work earned Einstein the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1921, cementing his place as one of the greatest physicists of all time. Quantum Mechanics, a new era. The dawn of the 20th century marked a pivotal moment in the history of science. Max Planck's groundbreaking work on blackbody radiation laid the foundation for a new understanding of the physical world. His introduction of the quantum hypothesis was revolutionary, suggesting that energy is quantized and can be emitted or absorbed in discrete units called quanta. Einstein's explanation of the photoelectric effect, which demonstrated that light itself is quantized, further solidified the quantum theory. This was a radical departure from the classical wave theory of light, which had dominated scientific thought for centuries. Einstein's work showed that light could be understood as both a wave and a particle, a concept that would become central to quantum mechanics. Along with other experimental evidence, such as the Compton effect and the discrete spectral lines of atoms, these discoveries provided compelling proof of the quantum nature of reality. Scientists around the world were now faced with the challenge of reconciling these new findings with the established laws of classical physics. This firmly established the reality of energy quantization. The idea that energy levels in atoms are quantized explained why atoms emit or absorb light at specific frequencies, leading to the development of quantum theory. This was a monumental shift in our understanding of the universe, one that would have profound implications for all of physics. The quantum revolution had begun. This period saw an explosion of new ideas and theories that would forever change the landscape of science. The old deterministic view of the universe was being replaced by a new, more complex picture, one that embraced uncertainty and probability. In the following decades, physicists like Niels Bohr, Werner Heisenberg and Erwin Schrödinger developed a completely new framework for understanding the microscopic world quantum mechanics. Bohr's model of the atom, 
Heisenberg's uncertainty principle and Schrodinger's wave equation were key milestones in this new theory. These developments provided a comprehensive framework for understanding the behavior of particles at the atomic and subatomic levels. Quantum mechanics was not just a new set of rules, it was a new way of thinking about the nature of reality itself. Quantum mechanics revealed a reality that was inherently probabilistic and uncertain. Unlike classical physics, which could predict the future behavior of a system with certainty, quantum mechanics could only provide probabilities for different outcomes. This was a profound shift in our understanding of the universe. Particles could behave like waves and waves like particles. This wave-particle duality was one of the most surprising and counterintuitive aspects of quantum mechanics. It challenged our classical intuitions and required a new way of thinking about the nature of matter and energy. The deterministic clockwork universe of classical physics gave way to a world governed by chance and uncertainty. This new quantum world was strange and mysterious, but it also opened up new possibilities for understanding and manipulating the fundamental building blocks of the universe. The journey into the quantum realm had only just begun, and it promised to revolutionize science and technology in ways that were unimaginable at the time. Max Planck's groundbreaking work on blackbody radiation opened the door to the quantum world. His discovery of energy quantization revolutionized physics and led to the development of quantum mechanics, one of the most successful scientific theories of all time. Quantum mechanics is the foundation for our understanding of atoms, molecules, and the very fabric of reality. It has led to countless technological advances, including transistors, lasers, semiconductors, and computers. Planck's legacy lives on in every aspect of our modern technological world. If you enjoy this channel, don't forget to hit that follow button. Your support drives my creativity, and together, we explore the wonders of science. Let's make discoveries together.